for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in inetcpl.cpl and click on it. Once we're on this, we're going to click on the connections tab, then we're going to click on LAN settings. You want to make sure that proxy server has been unticked. Make sure it's unticked. So if it has been ticked, then you want to untick it and then click on OK. And then click on OK again. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to select your network connection, which is either Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Just double click on it and then click on properties. Then you want to scroll down and make sure the internet protocol version 6 has been unticked and click on OK. Once we do that, we're going to head back into our network connection and then click on properties. And then we're going to click on internet protocol version 4. You want to make sure that obtain an IP address automatically has been ticked and obtain DNS server address automatically has also been ticked and click on OK. Click on OK again and click on close. Once you do that, we're going to right click on our network connection and then you want to click on disable. Once it's been disabled, we're going to right click on it and then click on enable. For the third step, we're going to head over to search and type in network reset. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to click on reset now and then click on yes. Then you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.